We have many types of pests. We have weeds, insects, birds, fungi, fish, algae, rodents, and also plant diseases. For this presentation on pest management, we'll introduce you to four major pest categories. Weeds are the most commonly targeted pests for control. A weed may compete with a crop, cause an injury to an athletic field, obstruct a roadway or a utility power line, or be unwanted for many other reasons. Invertebrate pests include a wide variety of insects like aphids, caterpillars, grubs, and wasps. Invertebrates also include the insect cousins, spiders and mites, sow bugs and pill bugs, and snails, slugs, and mussels. Pictured here are western bean cutworm larvae, which is in the immature stage of a moth. Plant feeding mites is seen from under a microscope and zebra mussels, an aquatic invasive species. Vertebrate pests include all of those animals with a backbone. These include bird pests, snakes, fish, rodents, and other mammals like mice, rats, raccoons, and deer. Plant diseases are the fourth major category of pests. A plant disease can be caused by disease organisms called pathogens, or they can be caused by non-living agents. Disease pathogens or living agents include fungi, bacteria, viruses, nematodes, and phytoplasmas. These organisms infect plants and often depend on specific host species to survive. Rose mosaic virus symptoms are pictured at the top. The bottom image that shows fruiting bodies on the fungus that cause nectrial twig blight in some fruit and ornamental tree species. It's important to remember that non-living agents, including temperature extremes, air pollution, and a lack of or excessive levels of nutrients, can also cause damage to desirable plants resulting in plant disease.